sporting locks to dive for is 26-year-old Shauna. Thank you. Who's also from Dewsbury. I probably would say I'm your stereotypical northern girl, as in the way I talk, the way I act. A little bit rowdy. <laughs> I think if I had another northern lad, it would be good. Otherwise, there might be a bit of a language barrier just on accents. For me, a lad lad would be my kind of guy, but one that's loyal. Like, I don't want no one that's going to mess me about. Shona, Hiya. how are you? Good to you. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you. Mwah. Mwah. I would literally love to meet someone that loves me for who I am. Bring them home for Christmas, like... It's a very nice feeling, his love, and I, I would love to be in love again. And your date is here. Hello. Are you all right? Are you? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Mwah. What do you want to drink? Please, can I have a gin and tonic? Yes. Thank you. What's your name? James. Shauna. Nice to meet you. So where are you from? From Dewsbury. Where are you from? Dewsbury. No way. Is it? Is it? Small world. I I'm surprised you had cross paths. That is so weird. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You must have definitely seen each other in front of you one time. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Bet we'll know so many people. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Who do you hang around with? Do you know Dame Weatherall? Oh, yeah. I went to junior school with him. Do you know Spammy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I'm best mates with his sister, Frances. Do you know Frances? Yeah. Frances is my best mate. We're literally, like, yeah. a mile away from each other. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come with me. Look at that, Christmas crackers. <laughs> Pulling out all the stops. Thank you. There you are. Cheers, buddy. Look, you just put this here like that so that if you want all the hands, you've got a three run here. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Got your little present. I made it for you. What is there that? Don't tell me I have to wear them. I have to get a picture of you in those. Well, as soon as we're giving gifts. Oh, God. Yours is massive. So I did a first date survival kit. Oh, this is so well thought out. Ear plugs, in case you get sick of mine. <laughs> you might need these. <laughs> Just thinking that now. Hi, guys. How are we? I'm good, thanks. You? You're lovely. Thanks. Are you wearing? What about these earrings? Oh, yes! I made them with my own hands. You cut a picture of yourself and struck that on. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit weird when you say that. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. What's it like at Christmas? What did you do? Mum still, Mum still gets up first. <laughs> we still sit in the same seats we've sat in for the last 10 years, 12 really? years at that house, yeah. No way. On Boxing Day, we'll all go. We'll go to rugby first. Yeah, yeah. Watch Jules and Batley. Yeah, I'm, I'm there all the yeah. time. So what um, what were you like, like growing up? What was that like? When I was at school, I was quiet as a mouse. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like, I didn't really say out to anyone. I got bullied a bit at school, probably, because of like, my skin colour. Really? Yeah. Oh, that you got I'm bullied. Like that. I know, but it's what kids are like, isn't it? My appearance when I was younger was totally different to everyone else. None of my friends had curly hair, none of my friends had dark skin. And I did get a lot of racist comments. We were once sat in farm class, and I could hear a group of lads sat behind me saying stuff. And I just sat there in tears. I can't understand that it still exists in our society. Our yeah. people are so small, narrow-minded. Yeah. And, like, when I left school, it was just, like, straighten my hair, cut my hair off, wanted it to look like Rihanna's, wanted it to look like whoever else's. This photo is from two years ago. I've got extensions in and got it straight. And even how I'm holding my face, like, I'm trying to pose like someone else. I look at that now and think, that ain't Shauna. 
My confidence came when I started going natural with my hair last January. And I was like, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. Like, this is who I'm meant to be. When I found my confidence, the person I should be came out. And it's a very good feeling. I would literally love now to meet someone and just be able to bring them home for Christmas, like. I won't ever lose myself like that again. Like, never. <laughs> Thanks. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.